Hi everyone, my name is Xavier and in this video I'm going to show you how to write your very first lines of TypeScript code. So in this series I will be using the editor Visual Studio Code to edit all my TypeScript code. This is a new code editor published by Microsoft and it's freely available for Windows, Macs and Linux computers. So to get you started with TypeScript, I have created a very simple JavaScript function. This is what our function looks like. It's called greeter. And all it does is it takes a given person and then it says, hello, comma, that person. So if we define a new variable with user and we say that this user is called Xavier, for example, then we should get back hello, comma, Xavier. So let's try that out right now. I'm going to open up the terminal here and I'm going to run this little script in Node. Now you could also run it in the browser. It will be the same result, but I'm just going to use Node because it's easier uh, to demonstrate in this video. So if I run this, boom, that's the expected result. Hello, comma, Xavier. So let's now close the terminal and let's write some actual TypeScript code. Now, if you remember the introduction, I said that any JavaScript code is valid TypeScript code. So this is JavaScript code and all I need to do to migrate to TypeScript is simply rename the file. Instead of .js, I'm going to name it .ts, which stands for TypeScript. And there you have it. We have successfully migrated to TypeScript. It was really that easy. Now just changing our file extension has no real benefit, but now we can start using the great new features that are available in TypeScript. But hang on just one minute. TypeScript files need to be compiled. I mean, right now our code still looks like regular JavaScript, but because it's .ts, we actually have to compile it to .js. So I'm going to open up my terminal here and I'm going to run the TypeScript compiler, that is TSC, and then I'm going to say compile hello.ts. I'm going to hit enter. And as you can see, this has generated a hello.js file. And if I open it up, you'll notice that it's actually exactly the same code. And that's exactly the point. You see, TypeScript is a superset of JavaScript. So whenever you give it some actual JavaScript code, it won't touch your code. It will just pass it through and put it in the generated JS file. Now let's use some of these TypeScript features. I'm going to put these two files side by side. So you can see what happens if we generate uh, a new file. There we go. So our greeter function takes a parameter and that parameter is called person. Now we always greet persons by a name and a name is a string type. So what I can do in TypeScript is I can say person should be of type string. Now if I save this and I recompile our TypeScript file, you'll notice that our JavaScript file doesn't really change because in JavaScript, this type annotation, this construction simply doesn't exist. So these types are only used by TypeScript to help you during development. But once you compile your code to JavaScript, it must strip them away because otherwise they won't work in a browser. Now what's nice about these types is that they can help you catch errors easily. So let's say that instead of defining our name right here, let's say we just give it a number, we, we say user equals 10, then TypeScript raises an error and it says argument of type number is not assignable to parameter of type string. So here we give our greeter function the argument user, but user here is a number and greeter expects a string. So that's obviously an issue. Now, mind you that if you hit save and you compile this, TypeScript will actually compile it down to JavaScript. It will warn you, but it won't prohibit you to compile it to JavaScript. So let's now fix this issue and put our variable user back to Xavier. So that was it for this video. Now it's kind of silly that we have to compile our TypeScript files after each change. If you agree, go watch the next video and I'll show you how to set up Visual Studio Code so that it automatically compiles TypeScript for you. If you like this video, make sure to subscribe to my channel. It really helps me out a lot.